So, and today we are looking at xenotic bacteria, and in particular, we will be looking at Brucella. So, the Brucella species, these are the main types Brucella melitensis, Brucella abortus, and Brucella suisse, which is found in sheep and goats, and that's more pathogenic for Brucella melitensis. Brucella abortus is cattle, and Brucella suisse is pigs. General features are is that it's gram negative cortobacilli. They are facultative, intercellular, stripped aerobes, and caffeinophilic. They are non motile and non capsulated. The culture medium used to grow them is serum dextrose agar, typically soy agar, and CAM. If you add bacitracin, polymyxin, and cyclohexamide, this makes it selective. And the testing features are catalase, oxidase, urease, and hydrogen sulfide positive. And if the erythritol has a stimulating effect on growth. The mode of transition transmission is via ingestion, which is through contaminated meat or unpasteurized milk, contact with tissues, blood, and body fluids of infected animals, and inhalation when working in a laboratory. So how does pathogenesis occur? So NC occurs into the body, it is phagocytosed by polymorphia nucleosides, resist intercellular killing by inhibiting. O2 bust that generate free radicals, transported via lymphatics or regional lymph nodes, carried by the blood to organs of the reticuloendothelial system, and enters the liver, spleen, kidney, bone marrows, and other. So, who is at risk? Occupational disease, cattle ranchers, dairy farmers, vet veterinarians, meat inspectors, lab workers, hunters, travelers, consumers of unpasteurized dairy products. So there's five forms of human brucellosis. These are subclinical, bacteriocemic, serologic, localised and chronic. So for subclinical, you have varied symptoms. For bacteriocemic, it is acute systemic form, undulant fever, arthritis. For serologic, it's presence of antibodies. For localised, it's granulomas and organs of the RE system and may develop chronic. For chronic is exacerbations and emissions occurring over the months and years. Complications include meningitis, granulomatous hepatitis, abscesses of liver and spleen, cholestasitis, endocarditis, arrhythmia nodosum, and chronic stern ulcers. So I mentioned previously general features, but let's go specifically into this. For specimens you would need for laboratory diagnosis is blood tissue and pus. In the microscopy, as I mentioned before, you'll see gram negative cortobacilli. Culture is serum dextrose agar, which is translucent and glistening. The biochemical reaction is catalase, oxidase, urease, and hydrogen sulfide positive. And identification is via microscopy and slider rotation. So, for blood culture, you can use Castaneda's method, which is a biphasic medium. Avoid contamination and infection to the lab worker. You can use typically soy broth, which is incubated at 37 degrees under 5 to 10% carbon dioxide, and on solid media every 3 to 4 days. Blood culture is a positive in 30 to 50% cases. The bone marrow culture gives a better isolation rate. So, lymph node, cerebrospinal fluid, urine, abscess, aspirate culture have also reported their positivity. For serology, you have the standard tube agglutination test. This involves serial dilutions of serum and standardised suspension of B. abortus, 37 degrees overnight. A titer of 160 or more and the results are significant. Acute brucellosis titer could be 640 or more. The test can be continued for higher dilutions. You have blocking and complete antibodies which are common and the remedy is preheating serum at 55 degrees for 30 minutes using 4% saline and, di and then direct comes test. For the serological response, you have IgM and IgG antibodies which start rising in 7 to 10 days of ons onset. The IgM antibody declines while the IgG antibody persists so can you rise. In chronic infections, IgM antibodies may often be absent. Only IgG antibodies can be detected. There are implications. High agglutinated titles, especially rising titles, are diagnostic, but negative agglutination tests cannot exclude the infection. Testing for animal brucellosis. So, as the previous methods mentioned before, there is also the rapid plate agglutination test, the Rose Bengal card test, 
and dairies, the milk grin test on pooled milk samples, milk is same with solar antigens, and agglutination rises to top the cream to form a ring. And you also have the wee agglutination test for milk. Other tests used are the brucellin test, which is like the tuberculosin test, which indicates prior sensitization or exposure. This is not useful in acute infection. The test itself converts the patient into a reactor. Prophylaxis is checking the brucellosis in dairy animals, pasteurization of the milk, vaccination of the animals, and no suitable vaccine is present for human use. And for treatment, you can use tetracyclines either alone or with streptomycin for three weeks.